Hi guys, welcome back to my uh, vinyl kind of review slash show and tell kind of video. And here we have is the 1970 fucking five. I absolutely love these guys. I mean, I don't know why, but um, they just make some of the best music in the freaking world. I mean, it, the funny thing is, I'm so into my pop punk rock and sort of style music that you'd never think I'd be into this sort of thing because these guys are, I mean, the funny thing is they do have quite a, a grungy alternative past actually if you know of the band Drive Like I Do, Big Sleep and whatever things they had before that but they had really awesome songs back then I really wish there was like really high quality downloads of them I mean there's only ones I can find is the ones on YouTube and they're not that great quality so I really hope they release them at some point or even play them live because I'm actually going to go see them in November? I don't know, in Nottingham anyway so it's going to be awesome. It's a double LP sort of thing, so it's kind of this, I think it's called a gatefold thing. <laughs> and you got like tons of sort of artwork going on, so I'll show you, or artwork photos. I mean, looks awesome. I really love this sort of black and white theme they've got going on. I mean, it's sad to see it go, but then again, it's kind of cool to see them change into this little pink thing that they've got going on right now. I'm looking forward to it, so hell yeah. So let's look inside. So opening up, first of all, you've got you know side A and B, and again just the artwork slash photos. I just love the style. It's kind of this kind of reminiscent to the Instagram square kind of thing going on. I know not everyone's a fan of that, but I think these guys do it really well. If you just take a good look at that, I mean, brilliant. It sets such a good tone for the album, and. The funny thing is, it creates such atmospheric feelings with it, especially if you see them live as well. Because I saw them live last year um, at Reading, and it was just phenomenal. I mean, I had to. The funny story about Reading, I went there um, on the Sunday, um, which is the last day, obviously, and Mayday Parade and the 1975 were playing at the same time. And that was a huge dilemma for me because I love both bands very much. Because the 1975, I mean, as much as I love Mayday Parade, 1975 just shot up to my top like top three or five bands of all time just straight away because everything about them is just phenomenal but anyway enough about that let's look inside so of course if you just take out the LP from the sleeve you find a nice clear sort of record I mean I like how they sort of be a bit inventive be a bit different and go Again, with the theme of the album, the theme of the colours, and the sort of see-through black light thing going on. Nice. Let's look at side C and D, I think. <laughs> oh, great. Putting it back in is one of the most challenging things we have to do. Again. That's what she said. So here we are. This is side C and D. Again, it's got this cool uh, photo artwork thing kind of going on. Nice. <laughs> uh, and well, it's not much to show again. I mean, it's the same sort of thing. It's a clear. I'm not gonna bother it. It's it's a clear LP, just like the first uh, first two sides. And again, it's a phenomenal album. If I haven't said it already about every other album that I've just shown. But again, I mean, the ones I collect are the ones I really like and adore. And the Nice and Five are definitely one of those bands I would just love to death, you know. And I really hope they don't break up. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> So that's that. Now the next four are actually from the 1975 again. It's their, I'll show you actually. It's their Record Store Day 2015 uh, EPs that they've released. It's the clear vinyl version, uh, not the white one which was re-released for reasons. Um, <laughs> so here you go, you've got uh, Music of Cars, uh, Face Down, Sex and Four. Sorry if you can't see that, but there you go. Um, I, I might not go through all of them because they are kind of the same sort of thing as you've seen before in the 1975 album. They're a clear vinyl. Um, but let's just sort of have a look at one, just in case people complain. So, use it for cars. Probably my favourite one. And yeah, I mean, let's hope that I guess. I mean, it's the same sort of thing. Not that much to see. But here we go. There you go. So 
same sort of thing. And if you'd ask me what was my favourite song in this one, it'd be... It's got to be... I think Head Cars Bending. I think, yeah, Head Cars Bending. Maybe Chocolate, but no, Head Cars Bending. For a very long time it's been Head Cars Bending. It's such a cool song. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. Again, it's atmospheric, if I've said that already. <laughs> I've said that a billion times, but um, yeah. It's just, it creates such a bizarre sensation when you listen to them, and it just took me back. I mean, I wish I could do a whole video just talking about the 1975. Not like this isn't already. Um, but for some reason, this band just takes me back. And I was listening to their songs back in uh, Nottingham when I was studying. Um, and just one day, I mean, it was like a, a rainy day back home from shopping, doing the groceries, you know. And I was listening to 1975, and I think uh, the song Me came up, uh, which is also on this one. And that one in particular just brought back memories. I mean, it took me back to, it took me back to a time when I was probably around, say, six or seven years old. And it's weird because these songs are generally about, you know, being a teen, being young and being careless and having sex and stuff and doing drugs and all whatnot. Um, and it's like, oh, I didn't do those things when I was seven, you know, I'm not that kind of person. Um, but again, it just took me back. I mean, holy balls. I might have actually cut myself off there. I don't know until I did this video, <laughs> but I'm kind of going over time. Uh, but thank you very much for checking out my The 1985 edition of Vinyl Collection Show and Tell. I hope you uh, check out my next video, which is the f uh, third and final part of my Vinyl Collection. It will talk all about May Day Parade, so I'll see you then. And I wish there is still a way I can change your mind. Please don't tell me you meant every word that you said. Flashlight and a train time